Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums and um, today is a special day. It is April 18th and you know what that means? You know what that means? It is the four, four year anniversary of my YouTube channel. I've been running this YouTube channel for four years already and now I am an old man waiting to die. Um, so it's been a long time and simultaneously pure coincidence, I have hit 400 subscribers. 400. Absolutely fantastic. I want to say thank you to all of the people who subscribed, listening to this guy talking for some reason. Um, but um, yeah, it is it is great to receive this, this amount of uh, support from the people. Congratulations. You really deserve this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're like the only person in the world who would say this to me. Anyways, today I'm going to do an album review of the latest Nubian, hopefully I'm not pronouncing it wrongly, Nubian Twist, Freedom Fables. So Nubian Twist is a UK new jazz Afrobeat outfit, and this is their latest album, Freedom Fables. And... Yeah, I've been wanting to talk about this album for quite some time now because this album is released for quite some time already. But of course, given that I don't have a lot of time, I didn't cover this album early enough. But finally, four years of YouTube, 400 subs. Let's do this album review, okay? This is a surprisingly good album. It's lively, it is energetic, it has a lot of amazing performances. Lyrically, it doesn't really blow me away, but it is really the songwriting and the and the jazz elements of the album that, that really made me go, ooh, ooh, yeah, danceable, so energetic, so fun. So uh, we have the album opener, Morning Light, which is a really refreshing and nice album opener. We have smooth neo soul r&b flavored vocals crunchy percussion a fat thick saturated bass pulsating synths the whole thing come together really really well also apparently the keyboardist i might be wrong by the way but but apparently the keyboardist or at least some of the members of nubian twist are also associated with sons of kemet and the comet is coming both very awesome and underrated UK jazz bands that I've covered previously on this channel. Anyways, the second track, Tittle Tattle, is also a really awesome track with a lot of jazz elements sort of incorporated into it, which makes it so much more energetic. I mean, the intro of the track is a little shoddy, I have to admit, but once the very dense horns sort of pop into the song, it's just very lively with the shuffling drums and the percussions it is ultimately a very fun track to listen to all right the okay the third track is mawanka and it is um now i don't know enough about afrobeat music and um other kinds of music to um <clears throat> to talk about this so i may make some mistakes forgive me but I feel like this track and I think another track later in the album, if I know, are both tracks that are somewhat Caribbean flavored, that are Afrobeat at the same time. Again, maybe it's because I don't know music enough and I don't know genres like this enough to comment on it. But uh, I feel like it is kind of Caribbean flavored and I actually really like it. It adds a lot of personality and texture to these songs. But for the track Mawanka, though, it is about five minutes long and... As far as progression goes, it just doesn't really progress. It just doesn't really change much. So it just, just sort of drags on. Next track is Buckle Up, and it has these really nice, soothing singing vocals, warm, jazzy instrumentals. There's a very impressive sax solo in the song. There's also rapping in this song. And the lyrics are sort of about the struggles of life, and I really appreciate that. And once again, the track is relaxing, it is laid back, it is very refreshing at the same time. 
The track Keeper is 7 minutes and 11 seconds long. It starts off with pianos with shifting chords that are very old school vintage jazzy flavored and I really like that. Then it is followed by some scat singing and then towards the end the instrumental swell. Even though this track may be a little bit too long, I still think that instrumentally and performance wise it is totally up there and it has the quality. Then we have If I Know, again, aforementioned, If I Know, which is kind of Jamaican flavored. Maybe it's because of the, the vocal performances, the shouts, they're just very Jamaican patois. It just kind of reminds me of that. Or maybe I'm wrong. Again, who knows? But this track is very energetic and very tight and I enjoy it and that's good enough. The track Flow is another R&B flavored neo soul track with very crispy production, watery keyboards, and once again, a dense layer of horns. And uh, again, just one good song after another. However, I'll say that the last two tracks on the album didn't live up to the energetic hype that the first seven tracks on the album had built. We have 24 seven, which is rather mid paced and quiet. The chords are sweet, which I really like, but overall structurally, it just doesn't quite hold up. And the album ends off with um, wipe away tears, which given the song title, yes, it's a very uplifting song that sounds very conclusive. However, I think the singing and the instrumentals are a little bit weaker on this track, just not as strong or as energetic as the previous tracks. But uh, still, that being said, this is a good, fitting, nice ending to the album, and I think overall this album is mad underrated. I think the performances are top-notch, the production is really good, a lot of the singing vocals and instrumental performances are really nice and there's just not much to complain about this album my favorite track here is um uh <laughs> morning light is really good buckle up and my least favorite is probably mawonka i'm giving nubian twist freedom fables a light eight out of ten so, have you listened to Nubian Twist Freedom Fables from Wendetta Nama Jureta? Like, like, and subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching. Um, next album I'm going to review is Promises by Floating Points, Pharaoh Sanders, and LSO.